Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Elix. It is time for me to rest in a bed, which is probably going to be just absolutely awful. I don't know what time of day it is, but we're going to sleep till morning. And we, again, may get in trouble. There's no telling, or everything may be 100% fine. Okay, we have slept. We are fully healed now at this point. And we have a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. I really need to find some sort of shop owner. This town does look rather large. It has a chasm in the middle of it. That can't bode well for me. You know I'm going to fall in it. You guys have been around the channel for any length of time. What are those? For any length of time, you guys are known that I am drawn to fall into holes, chasms, uh, just missing grates, or whatever. What is what is going on? I'm going to take your soul leaf. What are these weird... It's a cultivator's leaf. Might as well take that, too. What are these weird things, man? What are you cultivating? Are these plants? Interesting. Well, that's one thing you'll say throughout every single world created by Piranha Bites. Interesting. Very, very interesting. They come up with some unique and just cool things in general. Also, they usually do tend to like swamps a little bit. It's one of their go-to uh, places. Now, this isn't quite a swamp. Maybe more more marshy than swampy, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's something that you'll see. They do like themselves some water. Well, again... Oh, dear sweet merciful lord. Oh, God. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like... I did it! Ah! I didn't do it! Oh gosh, they spit. Eh. Where's the next one? Oh gosh, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. Well, I don't want to fight you, man. I put my weapon away until... I helped with the mutant attack. Do you love me? These fucking mutants. <gasps> They're he so said desperate swear. for Elix. They even try eating the mana from the seedlings. All that work ruined by damn rot boars. There are mana in the seedlings? There's mana in the seedlings. Right, you gotta stop saying stuff. Let them do it. We feed them with it. But... Mana is made from Elix, right? The mutants can feel that. They think if they eat the plants, they'll get the Elix. But they get mana instead. At least that makes them weaker. Then they're easier to kill off. <laughs> but only after they've done the damage. That doesn't help me keep the seedlings alive, though. And that's my task. I look after all the seedlings here. Huh. So, interestingly, we got partial credit for... Having defeated two of the weakened rot boars. So I guess there's going to be a quest where we kill five of them. And they're going to be like, oh my god, you're all so cool. We love you. And stuff. Also, where's the other body? Oh, there it is. Oh, where's the other body of the one that I killed? Not sure why we're getting metal scrap from rot boars, but apparently we are. Well, there's definitely a cave over there. I I think, again, we should probably focus on getting some equipment. And then we'll see where that takes us. What is it? Dark place. It is no longer dark. I got a mag torch. Old magnesium. Burns brighter than a thousand sun. No, no, it doesn't. Hi, Mr. Guard. Your axe looks cooler than mine. Though similar. Is there like a shop around here? Warrior? What's inside your house? Thing. Hey, it's Cinda. What's up? Another incomer. Mm -hmm. Are you here to trade, fight, or just add another mouth to the masses? 
Yes. Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're going to keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, I'd hope they so. can't. Oh, okay. Magic up supplies. Magic up supplies. Dang it. Mana, spells, magic it up, whatever you want to call it. Work here might be quite hard, physical labor, but it's supposed to be balanced out with magic. But where is the help that I need? But then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. That's true. Okay. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, uh. I could offer you more. Oh, I need better weapons and armor, or are things really that bad in Goliath? I need better weapons and armor. I can't help you there. Mm. You can only get that sort of thing from our blacksmith. But he'll only sell to berserkers. Of course he will. And even if you're a berserker of the right rank, he will make sure it costs you. How much? A good few shards for sure. But if you've worked your way up through the ranks to be uh. eligible, you should have earned a lot on the way. And the more hands we have working in Goliath, the more chance I have of getting the help I need. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's have something to offer apart from shards. Oh, apparently I don't have four charisma. Uh, to teach me something? Teach me something. Of course. Here you can spend your learning points and learn new skills, but only if your attributes are high enough. Oh, we can gain attribute points. I don't have anywhere near enough for any of this stuff. Oh, this is looking like this is not going to go well for us, folks. The blacksmith is going to be the one with all the materials and stuff that we need. And it doesn't look like he's willing to uh, part with those. Can I do something for you? Yeah, you can be quiet, lady. doesn't look like he's going to be willing to part with those unless we're already part of the berserkers. So that's not great. Whoa, calm down. I'm just new to town. I, I don't know where anything is. I'm sorry. That looks like maybe that's a tavern. With the double mug thing. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go up into the tavern. Hello. He's never earned an honest shard in his wish. life. You should do it. What have we here? Oh, that's a Welcome bad angle. Welcome to the berserkers. You want to make it all the way to the top? You must observe our sacred traditions. Most sacred of all, never have an empty glass. Uh -huh. <laughs> tell me, what brings you here? Uh, let's see, tell me. Tell me. Uh, let's see here. No, I don't really want to talk to you, friend. Someone has to leave. Really want equipment. Clubs. Are you so guys important? Work. You have different hair than other people. Cook Healer, too long, cultivator. And you ruin the parch. Cultivator. It is all about serious personal dedication to the law. Healer man. Nobody fucking cares. We are just. Hey, it's Born. What's up, Born? Hey, can I help you? What do you want here? Lots of things. Uh, just passing I'm through. I'm just passing through. Many arrive with that intention. Most stay. Let me welcome you to Goliath, the jewel of Magalan. Here you can see what our world once was, and what she can be again. Uh, it's a little uh, underwhelming. Tread carefully whilst you're here. Some of the plants we're cultivating in the seedling farms are fragile. Damaging them means exile oh. to the Valley of the Damned. Oh. So I'd watch your step. It'll make life easier all round. Life oh. is a lot more comfortable here in Goliath than out in that valley. Okay. Well, I'm going to not continue to talk to you. We're going to go back to talking to a few people, but I do want to find the equipment. Like, that's that's going to be my primary goal. I don't mind going around talking to the different folks in town, but... I always try, and I, I can't always succeed in every game, but I always try to, like, pair off doing stuff in town, talking to different people, and so on and so forth. 
with actually getting some combat and fighting in. I realized last episode we got quite a bit of that in. But this episode, not so much. Are you completely sure? I mean, yeah, what the fuck? Hey. Calm down, buddy. Who said that and from where? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Oh I should I shouldn't do that. I was about to use my jetpack and I'm like, you know, they did say to kinda not flash your uh technology around. Oh. And what is your crime? Um what? I am Warlord Ragnar, patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Hmm. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. This guy. Um, I am nobody. I'm actually not from Idan. Uh, I'm an Alb defector. I am nobody. I, I am nobody. Oh well. You have guts enough to simply stroll in here. Yeah, I do. So either you are crazy, damn brave, uh, or simply foolish. Lovely guy. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? Well, I need information. I need information. Ah, so you're a seeker. Everyone who wants to move freely in my city must contribute. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. Uh -huh. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for Seems it. Seems legit. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? I don't know if that's super impressive, but fine. Uh, you're the boss. You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Well, let's see here. Um, yeah. Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. And you want Warlord's armor? Why not? Slow yeah. down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. Okay, assimilating foreign property. Do you think the Alb or the Berserkers can stop the Alps from conquering? What kind of man is he? Well, let's assume. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? Yeah. Yes, it's apparent. I have to admit I underestimated you. At least you're observant. Eh. But it also takes guts to confront me. So you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust and you may earn mine. Okay. And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me looking to join us to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambition. If you earn my trust, you'll go far here. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna end the conversation with him for now. Because it looks like we're going to have to go spread ourselves out around town and see what we can accomplish. It stands right now. Uh, we're in quite the pickle. So what I'm going to do, which I highly recommend not doing. Stop messing I, around with that technology, uh, will you? Oh. 
they can see my weird glowy map thing. Okay, I was wondering why I heard that before. I'm going to go that way. Let's see if this actually leads me to where I hope it does. And then I can maybe slowly float, glide my way down. Now where does this put me at? Not where I want to be. Well, let me rephrase that. Not necessarily where I want to be. Alright, now where are we at? Oh boy, this is not going to go well. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Did I go the right way or the wrong way? Kind of neither. I need to go more this way, maybe? Nobody look up. That, that's a totally normal sound. It's just a bird. What's up, or near guy, man, person? Oh, I'm close. Is it down there or is it up here? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to say it's down there. Well, I think this is a terrible idea. I highly recommend not doing this thing that I'm about to do. But, what in Rome? I should have quick saved. Okay. Also, I'm a little worried that I'm behind that person that's over there. So, if he notices me, which he very may, very well may actually do, it could be very, very unhealthy for me. Anyway, my Analyzing. robot friend is right System here. Error. You four. What are you doing here? You were supposed to have remained with me. Why did you leave the crash site? Survival Protocol 7. Commando presumed dead. U4 unit attempted return to repair station. How'd that work out for you? But instead you were found by the Berserkers? You're lucky you haven't been dismantled for your Elix. Are you able to come with me? System error. Failure of. Failure of. System error. Huh. Identify system error. Analyzing. Minor damage to primary systems. Defense system and weapons are offline. Primary control system impaired. Can you repair yourself? Analyzing. Negative. No repair possible at this location. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that would be too easy. Yep. Um, okay. What do you need, friend? What do you need to complete repairs? This location isn't safe. Identifying. Nearest automated repair station is in North Abessa. Then go. But you four, you are not to report on my status. If asked about me, state that I died in the crash. I will meet you at the repair station in Abessa. Bye, you four. I hardly knew you. What's going to happen with that when that guy sees him? Oh gosh, what's going to happen here? Didn't even care, didn't flinch, didn't blink, didn't do anything. I'm a little concerned right now. Will you Ooh. just leave? This area is restricted. Oh. No entry. I'm sorry, sir. I am going in over your dead body if necessary. Oh. What is this place? Let me through. What is this place? This is the pit. Any Elex, any forbidden technology that comes into Goliath. This is where it's kept. Move along there. Move along. Okay. Oh, he spat me out. Well, I guess I found a, a quick and easy way around the, uh, the blockade there. I'm sure I could do it again, too, if I had to. Nope. At least not from that angle. Probably from this one. There we go. Is there a way to sneak? Because I want to steal his stuff. Oh. 
Hmm. I don't know, like... I'm curious as to whether or not we can take stuff that's forbidden. As long as we're not seen, I think is how it works. But it might also be, like, if we're caught with it, we can get into a lot of trouble. I don't know. So I'm, like, I'm worried to take anything that might get me into a lot of trouble here. Oh, there's arrows. Good, because I desperately need ranged weaponry, even though I'm going to probably be pretty awful at using it. So, you know, that whole scenario... Um, not sure what I want to do from here. I mean, we did accomplish a bit. I'm just going to walk around above the guy. The guy's going to be like, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, that was almost bad. The guy's going to be like, what's that noise? That's right, it's us. So he doesn't see us doing our cool little... Thing. All right, so we kind of accomplished a few small things, I guess. Uh, really would like new weaponry. It does look like it's gonna start us in this area, and we're gonna have to work our way through to a degree. Oh, I can take this. It's a recipe of sorts. Small healing, good. A pick lock, which is very similar to a lock pick, by the by. I wonder if I can just... Yep, I can. Ladders are, are very inconvenient. It's okay, though. We'll take them if we must. I am liking the fact that there's so many arrows laying around up on the high grounds here. This is uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, as uh, they say. Climb up on that. And I could be like, oh no! Oh gosh, I was worried. I'm like, oh no, what if the double tap doesn't work? It did. It worked. It's fine. Bunch of just junk over here. What's up, buddy? I wonder if you can bump into them and make them drop their stuff again. That used to always be a fun thing. Alright, so the teleporter's out that way. We're outside of town again. Um, maybe I go get into a fight with my bow and arrow, see if my uh, aim has improved any. I I'm doubting that it has, but maybe. Oh boy. I wasn't really planning on it going like that. Wasn't there a thing that chased me over here? I feel like there was. I feel like there was a very angry creature that tried to chase me down and murder me. I also feel like he spat at me a lot too. Well, oh, we're back over here. So this was the quicker way to get to our current location or destination. But... Why do I hear noises like dogs are eating people? Huh. Well? I'll do my best to not get murdered by stuff. So far that's kind of working for me. I am ready to retreat at any given moment, just so you know. Retreat is not necessarily a bad thing, or a dirty word. Especially if you throw the word tactical in front of it. I feel like there's like dogs maybe underneath the, the ground, like there's like a dog fighting arena or something. Some magnesium torches, some more elix, some more, some more elix it. Oh, we could sleep out here. That seems like a terrible choice. Uh, these guys weren't friendly, were they? They seem to want to kill us. Alright, well, I think that's going to be a tale for the very next episode. 
before I log out here, or log off or end it, let's get back on the roof. While it didn't actually serve me super well last time, considering the dogs could spit, I think I will stay up here and hope for the best. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to explore around a little bit. We will return to town at some point. So don't you fret or worry about that. And yeah, we'll just see what happens. Right now, we are very lightly armored. Uh, we have very, very primitive weapons. And things aren't feeling super great for us. But who's to say what will happen in the future? Oh, look, they're fighting and murdering stuff. Alright folks, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will... See you later.